Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today is the start of the nine weeks out weekly vlog. I'm about to eat my pre-workout, train quads. My weight's 74.4, but I'm actually not that bothered because I'm looking really lean, so I guess I made some gains. And uh, yeah, so today I am gonna go for a walk with Felica at around four o'clock and that's probably pretty much my only plan. That's it, really didn't sleep very well last night, so definitely need to have a nap at lunch. Gotta get some food shopping on the way back, do a bit of tidying. Normally Saturday is my day off, not really doing any work. So, but then if I'm not doing anything tonight, I might live stream. So we'll see. So yeah, that's it really. Watch this for your entertainment only. I'm documenting my journey. Prep is unhealthy. I do take performance in houses. I work with a coach. He changes my food around pretty much on a weekly basis. And uh, yeah, basically the goal is to get super shredded. We're getting there though. I mean, considering I'm like nine weeks out, I wasn't this lean. I think I was this lean at like four, four or five weeks out for my last show. So, let's do some cakes. We're getting there, we're getting there. Hey Daisy, my dog is being needy. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my food and go because otherwise the day is gonna just escape me. So, I guess I'll be back later maybe, probably, yeah. I've come back from the gym, it was a shit session because I've had two nights in a row of bad sleep. But I got most of it done anyway. I had a nap. Got a bit of food shopping. I need to have a shower and wash my hair really badly. But I also want to walk Daisy for a bigger walk. And I'm going to get sweaty, so I'll wait with that. Look, I'm not looking at it anymore though. Anyway, I need to charge this camera. So I'm going to do that. So I'm just looking at my eye bags, basically. I need to do tidying. In it. <laughs> and I just spent 10 minutes talking to myself. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's because I turned this camera on and then I forget to film. So, recap. <laughs> One idiot. So I just literally spent five minutes talking to myself and I didn't film. And I don't know how I missed it because there's a really big red bright light here to indicate that I am filming. Basically, Outside. Hold on. Hey, Pish! Hello? <laughs> Hello? What are you doing? I'll leave the door open, okay? She'll come inside when she's ready. Um. So then, it was a busy, not busy day. It feels like I've done a lot, but I've done nothing. So I trained, I had a really shit training because I was so tired, but I did it nonetheless. Ticking boxes kind of session. Then I came home, I had a nap. Oh, checked in with my coach. Uh, I was looking at some pictures of the last prep of when I was 74 kilos as well. And that was at like four or five weeks out, no, at four weeks out last time, a few months ago. I was like 73 and a half kilos, but I'm kind of looking how I did now. So I feel like I have actually gained muscle, which makes sense because obviously I've been training my upper body and I hadn't trained my upper body in a year and a half, so it's probably some newbie gains. So I actually feel like I'm conditioning wise looking how I did at around four or five weeks out last time, even though I'm nine weeks out now, which is good. I also feel that finally after the PMS and the transitional period with coming off gear and going back on it again, I feel like my body's regulating, which is nice. My breakouts are finally starting to go, so I've got some scarring left because I'm a picker. But this is only a big one. And I've got one big one there, but otherwise that's starting to go down. And I think in the next few days I, I won't have any more, hopefully. Um, so I did some cleaning today, no work at all, which is nice because uh, I need to try and have one day a week where I don't do any work. So I didn't do anything except for responding <sighs> to WhatsApp messages from clients. I uh, did a lot of cleaning in the apartment, but I like to do that on my Saturdays. I had a nap, I don't know if I said that already, but I did. It's now like eight o'clock. Um, 
And uh, I want to eat soon, but I can't because I just took my GH. I need to wait around half an hour before I can eat. Um, and then I'll probably go to bed soon because I'm actually quite tired from the last few nights of not sleeping properly. And then tomorrow morning, Lucy's going to come here and we're going to go for a hike. We're training in titanium because we're training glutes. Uh, and then we're either going to do posing practice for her in titanium if the hall is working, which it wasn't last time I was there last weekend, but maybe it's open now. If not, I'll go to a pulse near her so that we can do the uh, posing practice because it's really something that we need to start focusing on. She's getting really, she's really leaning out a lot. Like every time I see her, she looks leaner. Uh, and now we're gonna really push the conditioning because I just want her to come in as ripped as possible. Uh, for like for the category, obviously. And ob the first time you diet, you never get as lean as um, you know once you've done it a few times. But I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, basically I've decided to cut all of her carbs, except for pre-workout. So her pre-workout carbs have been upped, her normal carbs have been dropped everywhere else, her protein has been upped a little bit, and I'm thinking, um, so depending on how she feels and how she does, maybe do a refeed every weekend. See how that goes, just to boost the metabolism a little bit. But I really want to... I want to make sure that she's one of the most conditioned girls on stage, basically. Because uh, she looks good already. And I know some of the other girls that compete have no conditioning whatsoever. Like that. They're kind of like stage fat. Like, you know, they, they have nice shape, but they have zero conditioning. So, but it's Bulgaria, so... I, w I did warn Lucy for this that it's Bulgaria, so the ch there is a chance that you might not even win, even though you probably you could be one of the best on there just because you're not Bulgarian. So the aim is to just make her undeniably good. That is kind of like they have to give it to her without it being obvious of it being politics. So, but we'll see. We're doing our best, and she's doing her best, and I know she is because she just looks better every time. So yeah, anyway, I'm really freaking tired. <sighs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna check out this new One Piece series on Netflix. I was really dubious about it, but um, basically it has good reviews, but I don't mean from reviews I've read. I posed a question in my Instagram, and most people have said that it's actually really good. Um, I'm gonna say it has about an 80% approval rate so far, so I'll give it a go. See what it's all about. And, uh, yeah, probably go to bed in an hour or so. So, yeah. Be back tomorrow, I guess. Gonna go and see Auntie Lucy. Come on, girlies. Let's go and see Auntie Lucy. Let's go and see Auntie Lucy. Come on. Sunday morning, Hello. and we are here with Lucy. You Hi. are four weeks out now, yes? Yes, very exciting. Yes, and you guys have been following her, I guess, well, kind of through me, and if not, check out her Instagram. How are you feeling? I am today, actually, I have a lot of energy, so yes. I was excited to hike, but um, yes. the tired days are getting slowly more freaking and, and more tired. But uh, the interesting thing is, uh, every time I get super tired, the next day I'll drop a bit more fat, yeah. and then I have energy again. And I was like, oh, it's like magic, but it turns out your body just burns fat for energy. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> who knew that, right? Yeah, it's just cool in a controlled environment, like a bodybuilding prep, that, like to, to watch it like so specifically play out on your own body. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm having a great time. Yeah. So what we're doing, or what I've done with her is, um, at the moment, she's on an hour of cardio on rest days, half an hour post-workout. And uh, we've decided that I've cut her carbs except for pre-workout and then potentially we'll be looking into doing like a, not a carb cycling but maybe refeeds and stuff like that. Uh, but it, the thing is I really want to push conditioning 
And the first time around, it's just hard to get lean. Like, it all, the first time is always the hardest time. Well, I don't mind hard, that's kind of what I signed up for. Yeah, 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 no. No, but I mean in terms of the first time you diet, you always have to diet harder than the following times. Because you put it in... You just put it, your body, I guess, gets used to it. Cool. Like, the, every time I've dieted, I just get leaner on more food and stuff. So, yeah. But uh, this morning, we're training glutes. We're, after this, we'll go back to mine, eat, drop the dogs off, obviously. We'll train glutes, do some posing practice for her. And then, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do a live stream later. That's what I'm thinking. But I'll see how tired I am. I haven't decided yet. Maybe, maybe not. We shall see. But now I'm going to stop talking because my calories have been dropped and I'm actually starting to notice it too. I'm in the top 73s now. Hold on, I can't hold for a second. I was like top 73 this morning. Ooh. Which is like last time around, I was looking at pictures from my last prep. Daisy! Oh, she's just there. Here's a stick, look. Let's keep her busy with the sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Oh, God, so much. Just kick my dog back. So <laughs> 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 like, well, she doesn't seem they to do mind. Oh, she doesn't care. Hello. <laughs> yeah, last time around, when I was this sort of weight, I was four weeks out. Because I just, I was looking through my check-in pictures from uh, the last prep. And I was like 74 kilos at four, four weeks out. But I'm definitely bigger now, so... I'm the same sort of conditioning, but a kilo heavier. No, I'm lying. I was 73 kilos, this sort of conditioning, but four, uh, four weeks out. So, so how long I'm, do you think it takes you to uh, to gain like one kilo of muscle? While you already have like this much muscle, like does it get well, slower? I think for me, let me start still because I, I don't have the energy to talk anymore. <laughs> so, Rosa, hey, excuse me, miss. She's just gonna sniff. Uh, do you want me to throw you stick? Where is it? Here's a stick. I think because obviously I've, when you've done a show you're actually really anabolic afterwards this is a really well-known fact so I think with me having stayed on growth hormone as well as being post-show being anabolic as well as training my upper body properly for the first time in a year and a half I think I've just got some sort of like newbie gains and I think this is why I've put on potentially like all, around maybe half a kilo to a kilo of muscle because it's just been, well, performance enhancers, being anabolic after a show, but also literally not having trained. Rosie! Nay! Uh, and also because, uh, like with newbie gains, it is possible to gain up to, a, like for a woman, when you're new to training and you implement proper training pro protocols in a proper environment, they've done studies, you can gain up to two pounds of muscle in a month. Really? Yes. That's See, a lot. I mean, this is like... Op the optimal right this is like the higher end so for me to gain a kilo of muscle in a couple of months it's actually not impossible especially being on performance analysis and especially seeing i didn't train my upper body for a year and a half uh, a year and a half yeah no i didn't train my upper body properly for a year mm. and a half my i trained shoulders light and back light i never trained to failure never mm. heavy i used to think that it would get like slower if you already have like a lot of muscle i do but i default. didn't train it yeah. like i literally didn't train my upper body at all properly for a year and a half that's cool so yeah, I think I think it's just sort of newbie games, like kind of. It well, must be. Welcome to the sport and yeah. hello. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, let's continue the hike. <sighs> That's my theory anyway. Or it's just uh, maybe muscle memory possible there too. Because like I must have shrunk some somewhat from having trained it before and maybe it's muscle memory. I don't know. Personally uh, I'm just jealous you get to train chess so much. Yeah. <laughs> it is nice to train chess. Mm -hmm. But anyway, let's do the hike because fucking I'm walking and talking on a <sighs> incline. It's challenging. <laughs> Queen, huh? The sweetest cat in all the lands. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> she loves you too by the looks of things. Uh, that's not your food, missus. <laughs> no. No, that's not your food. That's not your food. Hey, hey, trouble. Did you have a nice walkie? Hmm? Did you have a nice walkie? Oh, we went for a big walk, didn't we? We went for a big walk, yeah. Did you like it? With the big ears. Look at those ears. And this is a big one too. Two big ears. 
and you trouble. <laughs> Don't try it, you can't feed me lies, won't buy it Question everything, tell them nah, don't try it Yeah, but you're moving like some sidekick But you're moving like some waste, man Trying to impress me, won't like it Be yourself, man, please don't try it Really, why do they always, nah, nah, don't try it You can't feed me lies, won't buy it Question everything, tell them nah, don't try it Yeah, but you're moving like some sidekick But you're moving like some waste, man Trying to impress me, won't like it Be yourself, man, please don't try it Really, why do they always, yeah You know I'm bad, like black chap, soup with a black tap cap People love to try, people love to lie, people forget, stop, remember that We done them good, do you remember that? We needed someone, here's the facts But people love to try, people love to lie Yeah, this is London, mind the gap Living life just multitasking Smile at like the horror movie, I'm laughing Motivated and focus crafting Dash something in a break, all your eggs in a basket Can't handle it, why you asking? Can't handle it, why you asking? Can't handle it, why you asking? Please don't, please don't try it Nah, nah, don't try it You can't feed me lies, won't buy it Question everything, tell them nah, don't try it Yeah, but you're moving like some sidekick But you're moving like some waste, man Trying to impress me, won't like it Be yourself, man, please don't try it Really, why do they always? Nah, nah, don't try it You can't feed me lies, won't buy it Question everything, told them nah, don't try it Yeah, but you're moving like some sidekick But you're moving like some waste, man Trying to impress me, won't like it Be yourself, man, please don't try it Really, why do they always? Yeah, you know I'm right Vibes are here when I am outside Boom for the flows to keep the flow tight Tell me why they love to lie Soul is dark, but the mind is bright Nocturnal, we live for the night You wanna try, but yeah, not quite Monster with the bars, yeah, I might bite If I have to, I'm Tyson up the mic See me, I'll do it for the likes Keep an air max, yeah, like my nice Ooh, I like to plan before I strike But what do they, what do they know? Frequency's high, it never gets low But yeah, what do they, what do they know? You're dripping in warm up from head to toe Nah, nah, don't try it You can't feed me lies, won't buy it Question everything, tell them nah, don't try it Yeah, but you're moving like some sidekick But you're moving like some waste, man Trying to impress me, won't like it Be yourself, man, please don't try it Really, why do they always? Nah, nah, don't try it You can't feed me lies, won't buy it Question everything, tell them nah, don't try it Yeah, but you're moving like some sidekick But you're moving like some waste, man Trying to impress me, won't like it Be yourself, man, please don't try it Really, why do they always? So I'm back from training, I have been for a little while, and I'm doing something that I literally never do, uh, unless I'm sick, and that is, I'm not doing anything, I'm just watching TV on the sofa, but I'm a bit cold though, which is weird because it's kind of warm outside, so I don't know what's up with that, but oh my god, I feel tired, I feel lazy, the training was hard. The hike was kind of hard because I dropped a lot of weight. I don't know if I said that. No, I haven't said that. My weight dropped to 73.8. So, like, finally dropped under the 74s, which has been weeks. Like, almost a month, maybe more, than, maybe more than that. And I have the biggest cravings. I'm not actually that hungry, but... Oh, I'm doing this whole... Can I order healthy takeaway game in my app? And then I close it. Because then I add things that I don't need. And I'm kind of tired and cold. Uh. So I don't think I'll do much else for the rest of the day. I mean, like, it's four o'clock anyway, but... I just feel like laying here and maybe, like, half snoozing. And watching that One Piece, and it's really good. I'm actually really enjoying it. As a big One Piece fan, it's exceeded my uh, expectations. I was highly dubious, but I'm actually um, rating it, so... I guess I'll go back to that. And I think today's going to be a day where I'll probably have like quite a lot of uh, diet drinks. Because I just, I've got big fucking cravings. Really big cravings. Sushi, pizza, mm, fried chicken, fried cheese, oh, cheese salad. Just, mm. It would all be great. But I'm actually really tired. Maybe I'll have a nap. And then I won't be hungry at all. Alright guys, so, it's Monday lunchtime almost, uh, I'm just going to have some 
uh, anabolic ice cream. It's a low calorie day because it's a rest day. I did just finish filming a video. Uh, I went to the gym, did my cardio, did some stretching, did the spa and cold plunge. On the way back, I got a couple of bits of food shopping. And I was going to go to the post office, but there was a massive queue, so I decided that I'll probably walk down in the afternoon. Hopefully it's not as busy then. And uh, yeah, so I have a busy, not busy day. It's kind of like I just finished, like I said, the filming. I'm going to edit. I've got one or two check-ins. Let me have a look. I've got to sort out some things around the house. There's some cleaning. I've got some programming to do. Uh, so I've got things to do, but it's nothing... Uh, I mean, I did, they have to be done today, but I'm not like super, like super crazy back-to-back -back busy, which is nice. What was I going to say? Oh, yesterday, yeah. What I was going to say is yesterday, uh, I decided to not really do anything after I came back from the gym because I was just tired. And uh, I ended up just laying on the sofa watching TV, which is not something I do often at all, unless I'm sick. And I fell asleep for two hours on the sofa. And then I went, bed at, I went to bed at 9.30 and I woke up at like... 5.36 and I'm still tired so I don't know what's going on I'm very tired at the moment I'm guessing it's just a, a, a big weight drop and leaning out and uh, yeah it's just obviously difficult isn't it being lean for a long period of time and I think that's just why I'm feeling tired I'm kind of feeling a bit motivated in general like I'm not really in the mood to train not really in the mood to stick to my diet not really in the mood to work just in general I feel tired tired um, so I think I'm like maybe not burnt out because I'm not I'm not burnt out but I think I'm I've had a period of pushing a lot and now I'm just at a point of like I feel like I need rest the thing is is that I can't until after my show and I'm, I'm really looking forward to just having an off season changing my training around again because I don't, I want to try and even though I'm putting on size on my upper body now I definitely want to try and shrink that again after the show because I don't want to be a physique competitor long term. At the end of the day, I'm just literally doing it to get a pro card. Um, I want to enjoy my training, which I do enjoy my training. I do enjoy training upper body, but I, I prefer the aesthetics of wellness or the proportions of it. Uh, I want to just be more flexible with my diet. Just, you know, not having to train as much or just be... I mean, like, I do like training a lot, but, you know, just the freedom that comes with it and just... I think I'm I think I think what it is I'm just getting a bit bored with it all <laughs> and like not in a bad way because obviously I've been doing it for a long time and I don't normally do back-to-back -back shows but it's just a lot <laughs> this is why I don't do back-to-back -back shows normally speaking because it's a lot but I'm looking good and you know body checking it's kind of part of parcel of bodybuilding that's literally the whole point of a show is to look a certain way so yeah I'll body check a lot uh, but Let's have a look. It's the legs, isn't it? That's the ones that matter. To be honest, they're looking a little bit softer. They looked better yesterday, but I had two really intense training days on the legs. I have quite a bit of muscle pain. And um, I went hi well, hiking as well yesterday, so I think there, I'm hold I can feel I'm holding a bit of water in them, which is fine. But yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd check in. I don't know how much more vlogging I do today because I'm just doing like chory things. Nothing too exciting, so I'm going to just eat my anabolic ice cream here. And do some editing, basically. So, yeah. I'll talk to you in a bit, I guess. It is 5.30. Hello. <laughs> and I finished with work for today. I'm just gonna lay here for half an hour or so. And then take the dog for the last walk. I think I'll take Daisy for a bigger walk. Because the weather's kind of nice. And then come back and pick up Rosie for a small walk. Because she doesn't want to have too many big walks. And she can't. And then I'm meant to be doing like hoovering and chores and stuff. But I'm not sure if I can be bothered. Maybe I'll just chill out for a bit. Put a fake tan on at some point, and it's a rest day as well, so my, my calories are low, so I have less energy anyway. We'll see. Oh, troubles. Hey, uh, yeah, you, you're in trouble. <laughs> I've been uh, after some point showing you a recipe that I've been like working on. It's like kind of, like you know how you do 
um, cauliflower rice. I've been using courgettes instead and I've uh, made quite a nice sort of curried version with that with pineapple and um, uh, chicken and stuff. I had it actually with prawns today which is quite nice, I kind of fancy prawns. So I had prawns with uh, courgettes and then I did curry powder. A little bit of coconut oil. I cut my fast for my first meal. Oh, I'm so tired. I even napped as well. I had a nap earlier too. But I'm just exhausted at the moment. But I think it's because I've dropped quite a lot of body weight or body fat over the last few days and I think it's just tiring me out. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Tomorrow's pool day. And I've got busy today with like check-ins and stuff like that. So, kind of enjoying having a a little bit more downtime because tomorrow will be a busy day oh. Oh. I could sleep again crazy but at least I'm sleeping kind of fairly well the last couple of weeks for the last week and a half two weeks I've slept pretty good which is nice so yeah I guess I'll be back tomorrow so it's Tuesday morning. I've come back from the gym. I just filmed the reaction. Uh, I'm literally about to walk to the post office to collect a parcel and then when I come back I need to wash the dogs. I was going to do it yesterday but I already had a shower after the gym and then I was like whenever I wash the dogs I get soaking wet so I was like oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see the point. So you won't like it when I have to wash you. <laughs> so I figured uh, I haven't had a shower yet because I just put a full face of makeup on and I don't like to I don't know I just don't like to film because I film after the gym I don't see the point of having a shower to then put a full face of makeup on to then wash it off again so basically what I'm gonna do is go to the post office now get that over and done with before it gets too busy and then when I come back I'll uh, eat something and wash the dogs which they won't like and then later in the week I need to go to the vet to get uh, this miss vaccinated because she's she's it's been she's she's been off her heat now for a while um, but when you get them vaccinated, they don't like it when you wash them. So this is what I'm going to wash them today. And then probably on Friday, I'll go to the, the vet for vaccinations. And then I'll book them in both of them for sterilizations straight away. That's probably towards the end of the month. Because it needs a couple of weeks for the vaccinations to work. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for? Hey, trouble. Trouble. So, yeah. Uh... I need to check in with my coach. I'm kind of annoyed with my weight. It's jumped up. I don't know why because I had a low calorie day yesterday. Uh, I was really hungry all day. I slept pretty well, but my weight is up. The only thing that I could think it could be is because I've had two days of really high steps. Uh, two days I've done around 20,000 steps. So maybe that's a contributor because my, my legs are looking a little bit watery. Um, but I'll just check in with him and be like, look, is things still going all right? Because I'm kind of getting in my own head, to be honest. It's like I'm dieting and my weight is kind of staying the same. It was 73.8 on Sunday. Uh, and today it's like 74.4 again. So it's just like, I don't understand why. I don't understand why, especially after a rest day. It's very, very annoying. Because uh, I was hungry. And yes. But my body is very weird like that sometimes. I'll probably lose a lot of weight tonight. And I've actually been sleeping okay as well, so I don't know. It's just annoying and um, it's just like, it demotivates me a little bit because it's like, what's the fucking point? What's the point if I'm doing things and I just don't feel like the results are there? So, <sighs> but we keep on pushing. Anyway, post off as it is. Good girl. Yummy up. Yummy chickies. But Rosie. Hey. Come on. water. Hey. Yeah, good girl. Come here. Do you like this? You like this part, don't you? Yeah, you like it when I'm enjoying you. Oh. 
Hi, right, so it's the end of the day. It's seven o'clock. I just finished walking the dogs. Daisy's is being naughty. Why are you being a naughty girl for? Uh, why are you being a naughty girl for? Hey, bummy. Who smells so nice? Who smells so nice? Like they had a shower. You had a little bath, didn't you? Yes. Oh, no, you smell so nice. Yes, you do. And you, did you have a bath? Hey, did you have a bath? Big ears. You did, huh? You smell nice now, too. Yes. So, I mean, I've done, like, all my work, all my clients. I think I've done all the updates, pretty much all of the updates. And I need to do hoovering and mop the floors, and I really can't be bothered, basically. And, uh, yeah, I can't be bothered. And the last few days, I've just really been... <sighs> This prep has been hard. My weight keeps going up and down. It's been hard. I'm kind of questioning whether it's good enough or not. I'm questioning what's the fucking point of it all. And it's like, but at the same time, it's like only nine more weeks. But at the moment, it's really hard. And I think it's just because I've been lean for so long now and it's just a struggle. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I have no energy. I kind of just want it to be over and done with. And then sometimes I kind of regret doing two back-to-back -back shows because it's fucking crazy. But such is life. And I just need to remind myself that it's during these sort of days that if I persist and I continue, it will make me grow as a person and all those things. But that doesn't make it easier. So, for now, I'm going to lay here, relax for half an hour, and then maybe I'll do my hoovering then. Or maybe I won't bother and do it tomorrow, we'll see. We shall see. So it's Wednesday morning and today is an absolute shit show of a day. I just still feel very unmotivated. I feel tired. I have no energy for anything. My coach dropped my calories even more. So <clears throat> I'm basically hardly eating any carbs at the moment. Um, I just don't feel like I'm looking good. I don't understand why my weight is just not shifting. I mean, obviously, like, I'm not going to look the same way at the same weight as I did last time for the simple reason, like, I have built mass, mass on my upper body, uh, but I just need him to confirm to me that things are moving in the right direction because I just don't feel like it is. Uh, I'm kind of getting blind to how I'm looking, basically. Uh, I still, I'm just going through a phase of where I'm just feeling it's all, like, Pointless. I'm just putting a lot of work in, and for what? Um, you know, it's like it, a lot of it is just not fun anymore. Uh, in general, I'm just. I feel a bit deflated with life, and like not in a like, on a living way, but in a. Why can't things just go right for a change? You know, that's that sort of mentality. And it's a victim mentality. On top of that, today I hurt my back again, my lower back. And the irony is, is that I was squatting and I didn't even do it during squatting. I hurt my back putting the weight away. So now I'm just going to do a day of not, not doing any work. I don't feel like filming. I mean, I do this now and that's probably it for today. I, I don't feel like editing. Um, I need to just try and sleep rest uh rest my back because it is a, it's kind of painful yeah just keeping trying to keep in mind that these are the moments that make you stronger that grow you as a person blah 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 and i know it does but when you're in them they suck a lot so hopefully i can get a nap even though i slept pretty well last night i just feel tired but it's not, it's not so much a physical tired, it's really an emotional tired, like I feel drained. So yeah, here comes a little trouble. Is that Taser? I think 
Jeez, Daisy. Come on for a cuddle. She always comes when I'm in bed. Come on, you can come. She skulks because she's not always allowed in bed. But if I tell her to come, it's okay. You can come and have a cuddle with mummy, huh? We're gonna have a little nap in bed together. My beautiful girl. My beautiful princess. I love you so much, huh? Yes, we always have cuddles in bed, don't we? Yes, we always have cuddles in bed. You're a good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. Mummy loves you so much. My bestie. My little bestie. Alright guys, it's Thursday morning and I am having a pre-workout and I'm training. My back's feeling a lot better. So resting yesterday, feet up, taking uh, non-steroidal non anti-inflammatories, painkillers, helped. Uh, it's definitely not 100% so I have to train very carefully. Uh, a lot of isolation so I'll just do chest and basically just stick to machines and stuff. Um, but my weight's up again which is just like great. Absolutely fantastic because my food has been dropped. I'm barely eating any fucking carbs, but my weight keeps going up So I'm super happy about that But to be fair the medicine can cause water retention. I know that for a fact uh, And additionally, I, I haven't been to the toilet for a few days. So hopefully it's just that but it's really really annoying um, I will just stay the course for a few more days and then I will check in on Saturday morning if my weight's not gone down, if there's not been a lot of change, I will message my coach and just say like, is am I in the right direction? Because I, I am, it's fucking with my head so much that I'm not enjoying right now the process at all. Um, I just don't see the point of starving myself and being hungry and doing everything right to then just not make any progress or I don't feel like I'm making progress because the scale's not moving. And I know it's not just about the scale, but at the same time, I just need, I really need some serious reassurance, basically. Um, and then I'll have to continue thinking about what to do. So, uh, today I have some check-ins. I need to film a video. I have to get some food shopping. Just a normal day. Just a normal day for me. Uh, but today is kind of my busiest check-in day. Yesterday, I did a lot of check-ins with uh, text because I was on bed and I was falling in and out of sleep and I couldn't move properly. So that was helpful. So thanks, thanks to those that did. So I have to update, update those check-ins. And uh, I know it's meant to be hard, but if, if it's hard and you see progress, it's fine. If you're hard and you don't see progress, it's very difficult to stay at focus. And frankly, I don't know if I want to feel like this for another eight weeks. So let's see what he says, I guess. I'll do a check-in on Friday, I think. Yeah, I'll do a check-in on Friday, maybe. Just because I want to push for the, the results a bit quicker. Are you being silly? You were making lots of noises. What's the tail doing? Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey. Oh, such a pretty girl. Why well, you're so quiet now? You were being such a silly girl. But now you're a quiet girl. Hey! Hey silly. Oh bless you. Silly billies. Bless you. You've got little sneezes. You've got little sneezes. Hey, little Roser. <laughs>
to the gym and I'm kind of rushing around because I have a sports massage and I need to collect a parcel from um, FedEx after the massage. So I've got a little things to sort out. Um, but I hit a new low this morning, 73.2, which I'm very happy about. Obviously, because I've been fucking starving and working hard. And my weight's not shifted, but finally it has. Uh, I'm just gonna do some arms and shoulders. Uh, I might have spot and sauna, I'm not sure yet. It depends on if I have time. Uh, I still need to check in with my coach as well. I haven't done that yet, I've just filmed the check-in. But I need to take the pictures and do the collages. And I'd like to film upstairs in the hall as well. How about give me that? Give me them good vibes, yeah, and you might get it back. Manifest anything, oh, look at that, no cap, no snap back. It's a new era, fuck that, but it's like a Libra. Never been a diva, never wanna look back either. Focus on the future, focus on the ether, focus on the good time, never call. Complex like a spider, swim deeper. Jump on the decks, that might will get eat up. Strong clothes, I make your mind weak up. Mash up the set, then go put my feet up. Complex like a spider, swim deeper. Jump on the decks, that might will get eat up. Strong clothes, I make your mind weak up. Mash up the set, then go put my Danger, 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 danger,
it's just not worth it. Uh, somebody put it into perspective of that if it was a child, you wouldn't let a toddler walk around just like that, even though it would make make them happy. And that's very true. Like, that really rang home to me. So, obviously, I let them off the lead because it's fun for them. You know, I want them to be happy. But at the end of the day, am I or they going to be happy when they get injured? No. So, I meant to go to the vet, as I already said. Uh, I was going to do that today, which I might have a chance to do that. I might do that tonight. Uh, it depends on how I get on. Because uh, they are open till 7.30, so maybe... Uh, when I walked in tonight, I could actually walk to the vet to get the vaccinations done and book them in for the spading. If not, I'll do it tomorrow. Because it was the plan anyway. The plan for me was to go today at lunchtime, but because I came back so late and everything's just running so late, uh, I didn't know if I had a chance, but maybe I'll do it tonight instead. I could do that, because it's not, it's not so far to walk. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to basically acknowledge that you're right. I don't like to admit it, but it's, it is true. I wouldn't, uh, you know, forgive myself if something happened to them. Basically, like, because I want them to be happy. But the reality is, is that this trouble, you, yes, you, <laughs> you just like to hunt, don't you? You're a little hunter. Yes, and you don't listen to me when you go hunting. And I have tried to train them. I absolutely have tried to train this out of them, but... She doesn't listen. Rosie does. The recall with Rosie is fine. But with Daisy, once she, once she commits to the hunt, it's, it's over and done with. She's gone. Is that because you're a little jackal? Are you a little jackal? Is that what it is? Is your daddy a jackal? You have the same mummy, but you have different daddies. I wonder if your daddy is a jackal, and that's why you're such a little noisiness. That's quite possible, eh? Yes. But I love them so much, so it's like I just want them to be happy, but, you know... You just can't get off the lead if you don't, run, if you don't listen, huh? Mm -hmm. Basically. So, yeah. Right. Anyway, so I'm just having uh, one of my other low-carb meals. I don't think I'm going to vlog a lot more today, guys, for the simple reason that I really do have a lot of work to do, and, uh, you know, it's Friday. So I think I will end this vlog here because I, I kind of want to go hiking tomorrow morning. So thanks a lot for watching. Insert a nine in emojis because we're now nine weeks out, eight weeks out tomorrow. That's scary, isn't it? But at least we hit a new low. Hold on. Quick body check. Mmm. Oh, the last one very good, eh? And I had a massage as well. Anyway. Doesn't matter. Not an emojis. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.